The Bible says, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. <laughs> but you cannot know what the truth is until you know who the truth is. Because the truth is a person. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except through me. There is no other name under heaven that can save you. Did you notice that Jesus said, I am the way? Jesus did not say, I am a way. <laughs> Jesus did not say, I am just one of many ways from which you are free to choose to go. No, Jesus clearly and repeatedly claimed to be the only way into heaven. Some people have told me that they do believe in Jesus, but they believe Jesus was merely a, a prophet, a, a great moral teacher, and uh, even a miracle worker. But they say they do not believe Jesus is God, and they don't believe that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Please listen carefully. It is impossible to logically come to that conclusion, because Jesus did not leave you that option. If you study the Bible, you will learn that Jesus clearly and repeatedly claimed to be God himself. And Jesus claimed to be the only way you can get into heaven. So you have a dilemma. You must decide. Was Jesus a liar? Or was Jesus a lunatic? Or is Jesus really who he said he is? God Almighty in the flesh and the only way you can get into heaven. Some people tell me, if you believe that there is only one way, then you are very narrow-minded. Well, I guess I have to confess I am narrow-minded because Jesus said, narrow is the way to salvation. If you don't like this narrow-minded point of view, <laughs> then I suggest you discuss it with Jesus, because Jesus was the one who claimed to be the only way to heaven. But I want to illustrate the absurdity of your point of view. Let's say all of us on one side of uh, Lake Bellagio were really unhappy because it was a very bad, miserable place to be. But as we looked across the lake, we saw that on the other side, it was wonderful and a beautiful place to be. So we all desired to go to the other side. We searched and searched until we finally found a bridge to the other side. <laughs> then everyone had a choice. They could say, I won't cross that bridge because it's unfair that there is only one way across. Or you could cross the bridge and say, thank you Jesus for providing a way. Now which way makes more sense to you? The Bible says there is a name above all names. At the name of Jesus every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That means the name Jesus is above the name Buddha. The name Jesus is above the name Muhammad. The name Jesus is above the name Moses. <laughs> the name Jesus is above the name Joseph Smith. He was the writer of the fabricated and fictional Book of Mormon. After all, Buddha was a sinner, and Buddha did not die for your sins. Muhammad was a sinner, and Muhammad did not die for your sins. Moses was a sinner, and Moses did not die for your sins. Joseph Smith certainly was a sinner, and Joseph Smith did not die for your sins. And they are all still dead and buried. Only Jesus never sinned. Only Jesus died for your sins. 
and only Jesus rose from the dead. His tomb is empty. The Bible says, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That means that someday you will get on your knees and proclaim Jesus is Lord. I have already done it. Have you been rejecting Jesus all your life? How long will you say no to Jesus? The Bible says, The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Did you hear that? Eternal life in heaven is a gift. That means it is free. You don't have to work for it or you don't have to earn it. It is freely offered to you. All you have to do is believe it and you'll receive it. And this gift is eternal life in heaven. You cannot even imagine how wonderful that is. And it is available through Jesus Christ and only through Jesus. I want to promise you one thing. Someday you will fall on your knees and say, Jesus, you are Lord. Sadly, most people will do it when it is too late. After the judgment, when you are convicted and condemned into hell, then you will look at Jesus and cry out, Jesus, save me. But Jesus will reply to you, Depart from me. I never knew you. Think about that. Is that what you want to hear from Jesus? When you first meet him face to face, depart from me. I never knew you. Now I want to define the word Christian because it is the most misunderstood word in the English language. You see, Christianity is not a religion. Every religion leads straight into hell. That's because a religion is simply a system of things you are required to do in your attempt to earn approval from God. But Christianity is not based upon what you do for God. Christianity is based upon what God has done for you. And that is... God became a man named Jesus and he suffered and died on a cross so your sins could be forgiven. Christianity is not a religion. It is a relationship. A personal relationship with Jesus Christ as God and Savior. 